Hello and welcome back to my second tutorial on teaching you how to become your own self-made seamstress. We will be doing our first thrift flip, which I'm pretty excited about. Thrift flipping or upcycling is probably one of my favorite things to do because I get to use what I like to call high quality but reusable fabrics. Of course, you have to be cautious that whatever piece of clothing you buy is enough for whatever garment it is that you want to make. And because summer is on its way and we need to make sure we are protecting our beautiful faces from those harmful sun rays so that we don't suffer the consequences later, in this tutorial I will be teaching you how to make a summer bucket hat. And along with this I will also be teaching you how to thread your sewing machine and how to wing your bobbin. For this garment I've actually constructed the pattern for you which I will be leaving as a PDF file in the description box so that you can just print it, cut it and use it. I found these double XL stretchy jeans at my nearest thrift store, so this is what I will be using. Here are the tools that you will be needing for this DIY. Some thrifted fabric or fabric of your choice. I also got some regular fabric that I found in my fabric stash to add a little design to mine. We will be using the pattern that I've constructed for you. You will also be needing some paper scissors and some fabric scissors. It's really important that you don't cut your paper with your fabric scissors because you can completely ruin them. We are gonna need a seam ripper just in case, some matching thread, and some pins. I also got some lighter thread because I wanted to be able to give it that contrast, but that's totally up to you. Remember that you're here to follow along, but also get creative with your own ideas. The measurements for these patterns are for a size small to medium. If you need a size bigger or smaller, you can always just add one centimeter all around each pattern or subtract a centimeter. Once you have all your pieces cut out, connect B1 with B2 by taping them like so. If you're okay with the width of the pattern but you would like to make it longer just to fit around your head, make sure to just add to the ends of A and B and all around of C. These patterns come with the extra seam allowance. I decided to cut the pants wide open to where I can lay it flat on the table. It's really important that you read the instructions of each pattern carefully so that you can figure out how to lay them out on the fabric without wasting any of it. You want to make sure you fold your fabric wrong size together. For the section that says cut and fold, you will place it where the fold is on the fabric. And for pattern A, cut two similar pieces on fold. And these are all the pattern pieces that you should end up with. For pattern B, you will fold it in half right sides together and then sew out the raw edge. But in my case, since I will be adding some decorative fabric, I will be sewing these two together first and then I will fold it in half right sides together and sew out the edge. To win a bobbin, place your selected thread on the spool pin. Draw the thread string to the thread guide and hook it on. Then loop it once through the winding tension disc. This bobbin didn't come with any holes to place your thread through, so in this case, with the bobbin in one hand and the thread on the other, place the thread on one side of the bobbin and hold it with your thumb, and then just loop it around the bobbin three or four times to hold it in place. Place the bobbin on the bobbin winder with the thread away from you. Slide the bobbin to the right. This will prevent the needle from moving while threading. Press the presser foot and wind it up. To thread your sewing machine with your thread already on the spool pin and the thread string hooked through the thread guide, take it through this hook and towards the front. Take the thread down through this groove and then make a U-turn back up. And then you want to go to the right of your take-up lever all the way to the back. And then go to the left side, put the thread forward, coming down from your take-up lever. Hook the thread on the hook above the needle, taking the thread, you want to take it through the eye of your needle. To place the bobbin on its home, make sure the thread is on your left side, place it in and hook it through. Once your needle is threaded, you bring your bobbin thread up by gently holding the thread with your left hand. 
and using your right hand to turn the wheel towards you. Now gently pull the thread with your left hand. Now you can pull the bobbin thread through and then take both threads underneath the presser foot. Now that that's settled, we're going to sew our pattern B. Now for pattern B and C, we are going to pin them right sides together all around so we can hem around the raw edge. And this is what it would look like once you connect pattern B and C and flip it right side out. Now for pattern A, we are going to sew both fabrics wrong sides together because since our fabric is see-through, when we flip it over, we can see the right side up. Now here I have flipped one of them over so that we can sew all around the edges to hold them together. Now that both of our pattern A's are ready, we connect them by sewing the edges right sides together. Now for our final step, we're going to connect our pattern A with B and C. And we are going to do that by pinning pattern A with pattern B all around, right sides together and sewing it on a stray stitch. For the second half, patterns B and C will remain the same. We are only going to focus on the brim. For this style, cut out four pieces of pattern A and pair them up in twos, placing them right sides together and only sewing at the large bottom area. Once you have both pairs sewn at the bottom edge, place them on top of each other like so, right sides together, and sew up the side sections to connect. Now that both of the pairs are sewn together, we are going to flip it good side out and this is what it should look like. Now you want to sew all around the rim a few times. Start up by tying them up together with a straight stitch close to the edge. Once you have that first line all around, place the presser foot right next to the stitch and sew another straight stitch all around keeping the presser foot aligned with the first stitch. Follow that same technique until you fill up the whole area working your way up the circle. I would recommend that before doing this step, you measure pattern A with B to make sure that they are the same size in case you have some excess fabric, you can get rid of it much easier. And now for the final step, connect the brim to patterns B and C by placing them right sides together and sewing a straight stitch all around. Flip it right side up and you're all done. I am happy to announce that this thrift flip was a success as I pretty much used all of the fabric from the jeans. I had a lot of fun getting creative with this project. I hope you do too. And if you do end up making this garment and you would like me to show some love or support to your work, you can always hashtag me on Instagram at hashtag Sonia and Sylvia or mention me at Sonia G Portfolio. And if you don't want to miss out on my upcoming tutorials, make sure to subscribe. Again, thank you so much for watching and for supporting and I hope to see you again in my next tutorial.